Good morning, Axel. Good morning, Mighty. Had a good weekend? Yes, indeed. The little one completed his first hoisting jobs this weekend. Really? Nice. They grow up so fast. Indeed. It seems like yesterday that the first SK-3 4530-meter tower crane come out of the factory. Did you also enjoy your weekend? Yes, wonderful. Saturday evening, I had a great time with my mates in the pub. We hit the early hours again. Luckily, I blew negative when Aboma checked this morning. That Aboma. They are always on top of things. Luckily, they also make sure it's always safe at the construction site. Oh boy, I would have liked to stay in bed an hour longer this morning. You know, Mighty, I feel really good today. As always, ready to do some heavy lifting. Yes, I can see that, Axel. You're always full of energy. Well, we should be, right? We have a reputation to uphold as hard workers. Yes, that's true. But sometimes I wish I could have closed my eyes for a few more hours. Sleep? What are you talking about? We're hybrid cranes, Mighty. Always ready to work, always ready to contribute to a cleaner environment. That's true, Axel. But sometimes I just forget how tiring it can be to lift such big loads. And without the noise of the engine, it's hard to stay awake. Maybe you just need some more energy, Mighty. Maybe you're just a bit drained. Are you even plugged in? Oh, sorry, Axel. I think I'll get some more sleep. Mighty, are you all right? Security officer, security officer, can you please plug in, Mighty? Ah, uh, thanks, man. I feel a lot better already. Thankfully. We all need to watch our energy, right? You know, Mighty, I've heard that we can save up to 75% fuel if we operate in eco mode. Seriously? That's impressive. But why not just work in electric mode and save 100% fuel? Well, we can do that too. But sometimes we just don't have power on site. So then the diesel engine automatically switches on just to recharge the battery, and then it switches off again automatically so we work more efficiently on every liter of diesel. That's right. It's good to know that we have that option. But if we work with a power connection with green energy, we have almost no impact on the environment. Exactly. But don't forget how efficient our diesel engine is. We use an energy class stage five diesel engine without AdBlue, which ensures long life and low costs. But if the power on site goes down, should we continue working with the diesel engine? Because I don't think that is allowed on this construction site? No, we can also operate on battery power alone for a few hours. So we are always flexibly deployable. We even recover energy when the load is going down. That's right. 
Our technology has already proven successful in more than 250 cranes. That's right. You can pour that in the foundation. You just have to turn off your diesel engine, otherwise you can't enter the building site. We work 100% electric here. Sorry, but I can't. If I turn off my engine, I can't drive and I won't get onto the construction site. Ouch, BB. That's quite a problem. How are we going to solve this? Maybe we can lift BB onto the construction site, then she won't have to use her engine? That's a very good idea, Mighty. Hey, Bibi, how much do you weigh anyway? Axel, don't ask a lady that. It's rude. Ow, oh, sorry, Bibi, I shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I got another full load this morning, so I know exactly I weigh just under 18 tons. Oh, dear. That's quite something. I'm afraid I can't lift that. Mighty, can you handle that? Well, Axel, I do have the option of putting my hook on four wires. Then I can lift about 10 tons but I'm afraid that's still not enough. Maybe we can lift her together? Well, I don't have that fancy four-wire feature, so I can only lift a maximum of seven tons. So that still leaves us one ton short. Well, that's not so pretty. How are we going to solve this? My load is slowly getting hard. Maybe we can ask Boyki to help? I think he's just driving up. Good morning. Good morning, Boyk. What do I see now? Can you drive with your tower upright? Yes, I can. Thanks to my compact undercarriage and special features, I can get almost anywhere. And thanks to my variable outrigger program, I can build up in places that are too tight for other cranes. And because I fully extend my tower first before unfolding my jibs, I can easily build over tall buildings. Let's say I am the ideal crane to use in the city. Nice talk, Boyk. We have been hearing that for years, but you are not getting anywhere. Frequently, we saw you standing still. At our place of business, they often talk about you. When will you really be ready? What? Without me, you wouldn't even exist. The holy lift system you brag about was developed on me. My possibilities are limitless. And remember, those first mighties didn't come naturally either. Spearings never gives up and keeps going until it's done. You have a point there, boy. That's not how I meant it either. Boys, don't argue. After all, we are family. Now let's put all those modern gadgets together to help Bibi. Boyki, how much can you lift? Well, depending on how I build myself up, I can lift up to seven tons. Is that enough? Hmm, that's too bad. That one ton keeps bothering us. How are we going to solve this again? Bibi, what if you take a run-up and then turn off your engine just before construction? Maybe you could then secretly roll on it? I don't think that will work mighty. As soon as I turn off my engine, I can't steer either. Way too dangerous. Don't worry, Bibi. We'll find a solution. Good morning to you all. Sorry for being so late. Got up late this morning, then I couldn't find my crawlers and forgot my makeup. I look like crap, so no comment. What nonsense, Roops. You look fantastic. And how slim. Thank you. I am in a good shape. My BMI has always stayed nicely within the norm. Who? I am actually afraid to ask. But how much do you weigh? Axel! Never mind, Mighty. I feel good. About 86 tons clean on the hook. Without that ballast at the back? Of course, with that ballast. I always take everything with me. Jib sections, steel plates and counterweight. Nice and efficient. And then you weigh less than 85 tons? Definitely. I see you have your new shoes on. Yeah. They were custom made especially for me. Oh, they look great on you. What brand are they? They're Michelin, the new X-Crane 2 version. Poe looks nice on you. Are you flirting with me now? Ha ha ha. I can't deny it. Maybe we should go on a date sometime. Sorry I don't have time for that. I'm way too busy hoisting. I can't hold my load for long. Ow oh dear! Almost forgot! Roops, Bibi is not allowed on the construction site because she cannot drive electric. She can't. Even I with my huge tracks can drive electric. After all, it is 2024. The electric age has arrived. Roops, are you electric these days too? Do they only make hybrid cranes at Spearings Cranes now? The electric age really has arrived. Nice, huh? 
working together on buildings and on a better environment. That's certainly good news, but not yet for Bibi. How are we going to help her now? Roops, how many tons can you actually lift? On four wires, I can lift 18 tons close to the tower. On the tip, I can handle 5.5 tons. And thanks to my divisible ballast and clever software, I can now work with any configuration. Great, Rups. Then you must be strong enough. Could you put Bibi on the construction site? Sure, guys. One moment. Glad to help. That's how we do it, working together to solve a problem. Indeed, we may have different capabilities, but together we can handle anything. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what they say, right? Thanks, guys and lady. You've lifted me to a new height. You're welcome. Building the brand together.